Hello everyone and welcome to Paper Our Moose and welcome to Mail Day. Thank you to those who have sent treasures in the mail. I'm always amazed, astonished, shocked, surprised by your kindness. And thank you also for just commenting on the videos and watching them. I try to comment back as best as I can. Some of you, you're, you're diligent in your comments. You always leave such wonderful stories or helpful information. So I thank you for that. Now, these packages are, um, they've been in the waiting line for a while. So if I've not gotten to your package yet, rest assured, I will be. And then packages from viewers such as Larry, Buzz, Uva, Joe, and Phil. I still have a few of your packages to open, so those will be opened up as well. So before we get to the mail, anything interesting, exciting going on, hopefully something interesting, exciting is going on in your life. I've just been dealing with a dentist. <laughs> You think as much as I've been to the dentist, I would hate uh, vintage dentistry, but uh, yeah. So I uh, have been going through a root canal. Those are always fun, right? I had a crown in the back. My dentist discovered that there was a crack in the crown. And upon further investigation, they discovered that the crack was pretty significant. And because of that, it had done some damage to the tooth. So not only do I need a new crown, I need a root canal. Uh, so, um, you know, I think there's three appointments for the root canal. The second appointment, which I just had was, I mean, the whole process, I could, I could probably fall asleep at the dentist. Like I, it's just, I've been there so much, uh, just whatever. But the medicine that they put inside your tooth, with a, like the cotton ball and all that stuff, like, oh my gosh, my mouth smelled so bad for like two days. And it was like a mixture of clove, which isn't bad, but strong clove and some kind of weird medicine. And when it's just in your mouth and anything that you eat tastes like it, I had to call the dentist. I'm like, is it supposed to be like this? And I'm like, yes, they had to, I guess, go pretty, deep down into um you know the canals in my tooth <laughs> and so they had to use a lot of the medicine so uh so finally a few days after that taste and smell has pretty much gone away but ugh, man if you want to go on a diet get that done to your tooth because that makes you not want to eat anything it's so bad so that's what i've been going through <laughs> <laughs> the last few days uh, we have rainy weather here now it's actually quite nice uh, it's a great day to stay at home in your sweatpants and get things done which is what I'm going to be doing so but first before I get to all that other stuff that needs to get done I'm going to open mail from lovely viewers such as yourself so let's get right into it this is from our friend Linda um, out in I think I always pronounce this wrong when I say it Be Bechtelsville, Bechtelsville uh, Pennsylvania Let's see what Linda has sent us this time. Let's see, let's see. Renee and a little Pam. And I have a feeling my bobblehead Pam that Buzz sent me is going to have a friend because Buzz said when I open up his package to have the bobblehead Pam. Now bobblehead Pam is upstairs um, on my shelf of my little favorite knickknacks and tchotchkes where she stays at and it reminds me of how I miss my short hair so much. So when I open the package from Buzz, I who knows what what's in that. <laughs> but we'll bring bobblehead Pam out. Let's see what Linda says. Renee and little Pam, here are a few little things for you. They um these are the last of your shiny bright bulbs. Yes, Linda has sent a few before. They're very old. Older than I am, that is 68. That is not old. You were only as old as you feel. Most of the time, I still feel like I'm eight. I don't know why, but that's how I feel. <laughs> uh, the little doll I found thrifting. Love all of your adventures. We'll keep watching, Linda. Well, thank you so much, Linda, and thank you for all the, the treasures that you have sent along the way. And hey, it is almost Christmas time. Now, have I done a lot of decorating for Halloween? Not really. Um, I have a few things out, so hopefully Christmas I'll really pump up the volume. Oh, look at this little doll. Oh my gosh. It says Tops, Tops Doll Handmade. So it's a little doll 
Oh, it flips. Oh, it's like the topsy-turvy ones with a little doll. And then you turn her over. Oh, how cute. And it's another little doll with a little doll. My aunt had one like this that was Little Red Riding Hood. So it was Little Red Riding Hood, the wolf, and the grandmother. And I loved that thing. So these little dolls bring back a lot of memories of that doll. So you did it. Oh, I love these, the indents. These are really nice. They don't make them like they used to. I think most ornaments today are made in plastic, which, you know, I guess for practicality reasons, they don't break. You know, your cat climbs on your tree. You don't have to worry about that, but. I, I do prefer the vintage. Oh, I like this one too. Ooh, this one's green. So we have a blue and green. Well done packaging, Linda. <laughs> because these survived the trip. And these will be added to my tree decor. It's just... And I, I really don't decorate. Like, I don't just plaster my tree with ornaments. I almost kind of do it sparsely. And I think that's because I enjoy being able to see the ornament for what it is and not have it all, you know, mushed together with other ones. So I easily could just really, maybe I should do it at that this year. Like just put all the vintage ornaments that I have on my tree, put it on the tree. Maybe, we'll have to see. <laughs> I still have a few months to plan. Well, thank you so much, Linda, for these and then the little dolls, because there's multiple dolls in one doll. And thank you for all the treasures that you have sent and for watching and your kind words. Our next package is from our friend Larry out in San Francisco. It's funny because I think all the packages we have today are from viewers that have a name that start with L. We have Linda, Larry, and then we have another Linda from North Carolina. So it's L day. But Larry is our faithful frog man. Larry loves frogs, collect frogs, also collects trains and just a wide variety of so many things. And he so nicely also donates many of his items to local museums so that others can enjoy them. So let's see what Larry has sent today. Or Renee, a piece of vintage tech, oh boy. Uh, for you to add to your decor. Hope you enjoy it. Best, Larry. And I believe I still have a few other packages from you, Larry. Oh my goodness, what is this? I love these little bags. I, re I reuse these too. So all of the bubble wrap that you send. Oh, I see a cord. Does not go to waste. Oh, what do we, let's see. Oh gosh, transmitter mouthpiece screws here. Well, that kind of gives me an idea of what this could be. Oh my gosh. It isn't what I thought it was. Oh wow. It says mouthpiece screws into transmitter. Oh my gosh. It's in there. <gasps> I don't have one of these. This is heavy. Why is this much heavier than what I thought? I've seen some of these at auctions, but I've never purchased one because they always sell for a lot of money. Oh my goodness. You gotta be gentle with, oh my gosh, this is amazing. <gasps> Look at that guy. Okay. <laughs> Let me put the mouthpiece on. Give me a second. Hello? <laughs> oh, why, yes. This is Renee. <laughs> Can you please put me in touch with... Uh, how did I say the numbers back then? It was like... Uh, San Francisco 527? <laughs> <laughs> this is so cool. Oh my gosh. This is a Western Electric made in USA. 
Wow. Hi, yes, I like to place an order. <laughs> do you do DoorDash? <laughs> I've never ordered anything through DoorDash. <laughs> Why am I actually listening? This is so neat. I feel like I should like do my hair up like in the the twenties, kind of like Boardwalk Empire. Hello. Yes, they're going on a run down Atlantic City with some booze. <laughs> How did they like? I guess I would have did it with my right hand instead, and they like hang up like that. This is so cool. Larry, thank you so much for, Larry, thank you so much for sending this to me. I love it. Yeah, this is something I don't have in my collection. And, oh my gosh. You could call Santa on this. <laughs> Put it out for every holiday. Could be the North Pole phone. Wow. That's so cool. Well, thank you so much for sending this to me and sharing this with me. I absolutely love it. I could probably do a video inspired by the phone. That's so cool. Wow. Thank you again, Larry. I really enjoy that. It will go, it will go nicely with my radio from Buzz. It has that great look to it. Ugh. They don't make them like they used to. And now we have a cell phone and a computer in the palm of our hands. But I still remember the rotary phones. I remember phone booths. And I remember, you know, being on the phone at home. And then if you wanted to use the internet, you couldn't be on the phone. So that was a whole big thing, you know, the dial up and all that stuff. But I still know a few phone numbers in my head because some of them are still actually in use know my family's phone number numbers I still know the number to my best friend's parents house for when I grew up because I'd have to call that if I wanted to talk to her and they've moved out of that house long 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 ago I wonder who would answer if I called it like is it still attached to that house anyway all the memories far back by a phone so thank you so much Larry and that's my collection. Little Pam even likes it. Last but not least, we have this package from Linda out in Swansboro, North Carolina. Thank you, Linda. I know that this package has been sitting for a little bit, but thank you for your patience. I believe everything kind of is, op is opened at the right time. So let's see what we have. Renee, this is a giant pile of books, booklets, and other ephemera I picked out of the trash at the thrift store while I volunteer. Oh my gosh. Except the sewing kits. The black one is probably Vietnam era. Oh wow. Or newer. And the other is Korean, Korea era-ish. Pay 25 cents for each. Absolutely adore your channel and you. I recommend paper and use all the time and hope they are subscribing and watching. Oh, well, thank you. Um, you got a nice shout out on the Paper Turtles channel, by the way. I'll have to check them out. Of course, keep, use, or sell these items. They're yours now. Blessings, Linda. And she is a proud Marine wife, history lover, and DAR. Oh, how cool. Um, the process to become a DAR, uh, Daughters of the American Revolution, like you need to know your history, your genealogy. I mean, it's extensive. So... Um, thank you for that. And then also, uh, thank your husband for his service to our country and all that he has done to keep our country safe. So thank you to him. So yes, this is a large bag. Wow. Save, save from the, the trash bin at the thrift shop. Let's open. A Dasco sewing kit. These little scissors always come in handy. You know what? I bet you it'd be good to carry one of these in your car in case you need it. You never know. Multiplication tables distributed in the interest of education. <laughs> it has the one times, the four times, the seven times. Well, it has all the numbers. It goes to 12. Oh my gosh. Types of examples. Then it shows you addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. This would not not be used in today's math because today's math is insane. I, I don't know how you all feel, 
but I do not know why I have to, well, I don't, but you know, the younger kids have to write out paragraphs on how they know that two plus two equals four. I don't get it. I just don't. Don't. Oh, we have a Sears recipe book. Pressure cooker. I've never used a pressure cooker. I probably would think it would explode. I'm big on crock pots and I also use an air fryer. So air fryers are just so big. They take up so much room on your counter, so I put mine in a drawer. Well, I guess same with the crock pot. Ooh, we have an audio classics library, Alice Through the Looking Glass. Oh, it's on CD. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, and then there's there's a little cutout of the Mad Hatter and Alice. That's neat. Ooh, Elvis. Musical history's finest hour. Elvis, Elvis, let me be. We have seen The Christ, a Christmas play in three acts. The early miracles of Jesus. Ooh, the visit. Christmas play by Penny Strasser. A whole bunch of Jesus papers. The resurrection and after. Eastern North Carolina School for the Deaf. Oh, wow. This is from 1983. Hmm. There's just a list of courses. Typing, vocational, electives. We have a German Best Pocket Dictionary. Oh man. Gluck, happiness and luck. Glass, glass. Oh, we have a rosary bead and a whole bunch of the little um, like pamphlets that go with it. Oh, we have another sewing kit. Which I think, I don't, this looks kinda like it might break if I open it. But to think how many businesses they hand out sewing kits as a form of advertisement. I don't do that now. Ooh, we have a decorating cake and party foods. Baking too. Oh my God. These are those sugar Easter eggs. And when you look in it, there's a scene. That tells you how to make that? I can't believe that. That's gotta be complicated. Well, I probably wouldn't be able to do it. Index, let me look at Easter. I just wanna see if they have it. Easter cakes, cross cake, Easter cross cake, Easter hat. Maybe we just look up egg, egg whites. Hmm. That seems like it's rather complicated. Mold and assemble eggs as described under sugar molding. Well, that's not gonna help me. I gotta learn about sugar molding. I don't have time for that. The story behind our national parks. We have a piece of a flash comic. Wood patterns, even have some older wrapping paper with moose on it. Rudder, offshore Maine. I would probably get sick on a boat like that. My stomach could not handle it. We also have another, rud another. we also have another rudder. Oh, and then we have a life celebrating our national parks. And there is a bison. I don't know when I'll get to go to Yellowstone next. This uh, the Rue Canal and the Crown, it's not cheap. Not cheap at all. Plus I had to have some other work done. And it's like, uh, so my money for the last month has just gone out the window uh, into my mouth. <laughs> and last but not least, ooh, a Madame Tussauds. I actually, uh, went to Madame Tussauds when I was in London. That must be where this one is, right? I think they have them all over the country, but I was there. Oh, there's David Bowie, Sylvester Stallone, Michael Jackson. I remember I got my picture taken with James Dean. I was so excited. <laughs> the conservatory. I think there's one in, there's one in New York City too. We have menus from around the world. That's actually probably really good. Ideals, everyone loves those ideals. And then we have gourmet on the go cookbook. Ooh, buttercream frosting. Whipped cream frosting, frosting, man, frosting. Speaking is hard. I had my breakfast, I don't need food. Oh, a cranberry mold, oh man, I love that. Cherry gelatin, boiling water, pineapple juice, cranberries, orange sugar, seven ounce can of crushed pineapple. Oh man. 
I can make that right now. That's so good. Salmon mousse, no thanks. Blue cheese mold, uh-uh. Tomato aspic, peppy, pretty and peppy with shrimp, crab meat, chicken, or tuna nut. Well, thank you so much, Linda, for sending all these goodies and for saving them um, from the trash at your thrift shop. Thank you for recommending out my channel. I'm going to have fun looking through all these recipes, writing down, I'm definitely making that cranberry mold though. I love that. You can also make fresh cranberry sauce in the crock pot and I love that too. It's that time of year. It's that time of year, the fall and the winter when you can make all those yummy, yummy fall themed fall things. I mean, you can eat it any time of year, but I don't know. It just tastes better in the fall. So now that you got me going on food and I probably made some of you hungry, I might go have a little bit, uh, maybe make some more tea. I think I have some a banana, probably have that and get to work. Gotta get a little bit more energy uh, to get in that work mode. But again, thank you, Linda and Linda and Larry. Thank you for all these kind gifts that you have sent in the mail. Thank you for watching. And I hope that you all continue to enjoy future episodes here at Paper and Moose. There might, might maybe be some other, I don't know if it's a clean out or if it's a pick. Um, that might be in the works, we have to see. You never know, you get a call, you go to a house, it could be amazing. You get a call, you go to a house and it can be like, do you want our bedroom furniture, our dining room furniture? And I'm like, no, no I don't, but thank you. <laughs> so who knows, we'll wait and see on that. But thank you for watching. If you're out and about this weekend, whether you're on the hunt for treasure, something to resell, doing your grocery shopping, or just relaxing, I hope that you have a great time. And I will see you all. I almost said thanks for watching again. So let's just say it. Thanks for watching again. And I'll see you all next time for the next adventure here at Paper and Movie.